this is Mellow the Hedgehog, and this is going to be a rant on Strike Comment 63. Now to just get my personal stuff out of the way so I can get on with all the other stuff he's done. Basically, he has made a post before about me and Kapui for bringing up dead drama. Despite the fact that he's kind of in the same boat of bringing up dead drama. Here is the post. I'm against Melody Cooper and Kabooey for giving shade to Rainbow Kitty 101. I find it really funny that you want to blow past this and yet you did this. The picture in question was a picture of Rainbow Kitty in jail. I will quickly show the picture. And here it is. Now this is this was to blow off steam. Here is a list of the things she has done, which would bring us into this. You can pause to read some of this if you want. Here is his response to that. Nice knowing you on watches. I don't care if you unwatch me because you are kind of a toxic person yourself. So, from what you saw in this, see that comment hidden by owner? Yeah, that was my comment. So if this post was still up on his DA, then guess what? People would be able to see more than one side to an argument. Look, see? This happened last week and it's not here anymore. He deleted his status post about us because I was telling him that he was bringing up drama that no one wanted anymore. Me and him had a ship with Two characters named Leo and Lonnie. I am regretting that now. And I'm not going to bring it up anymore. Just going to draw the kids and then drop everything. Sorry. My brother's doggy. He doesn't care about her. Because he leaves her in a kennel when he doesn't want to watch her. Um, He tried to ship a... What I can describe as an animatronic little Mac with an OC that... I already had a ship in with. It was a FNAF OC named Red, and she was shipped with Yendo from Sister Location. And at that time, I wasn't trying to be rude. I wasn't trying to be mean. I was trying to tell him no in the most subtle way possible. Then came him wanting to mix a Kelpie that I had no intention of further using was just used as a picture for an animation assignment and he wanted to mix it with a Splatoon character. Someone doesn't understand that Kelpies were known in mythology for drowning people by beckoning them to ride them and then making them stick to their skin with their sticky scales and drowning them. And Splatoon characters cannot survive in water according to the game. So, this is just basically wishing death upon your character. That is just kind of unbelievable and incredibly stupid. I wonder how you're even functioning with your brain. And the only reason why that drama was brought up was because you were saying we were throwing shade at someone who deserved it. We had all the proof and you just don't take it. The other problem with him is that he is a Rainbow Kitty fanboy. He's basically a lap dog for her. I'm guessing this guy's like 20, so I wouldn't be surprised have a 20 year old acting like a child on online. 
So, basically, one of the biggest gripes with him is that he was a part of the Kapui harassment. Like, she was trying to get past it so she can stop getting all these hate comments, but you guys keep bringing it up. Making strike comment a hypocrite. Because he was bringing up something she was trying to forget. And you get mad at us for bringing up dead drama. She was trying to move past it during the arcade drama. And you kept bringing it up by harassing her. And by now, you're still defending her. As far as I know, RK's not doing anything bad. So that was going to be the last argument piece I was going to post on her. Except I was going to post her OC meeting the two redesigns I made for her. But other than that, nothing to slander her anymore. Because officially, he's off of the crap list. I mean, she. RK's off the crap list right now. Strike comments on there now. Let's look at his gallery. I tried recording this earlier, but uh, some stuff happened, so yeah. Look at his art style compared to another deviant art. Pitchy and witchy. This was a this was a base by a rich squid 1996. And this is his style compared to Rich Squid. Rich Squid, I can actually tell what this person is supposed to look like, so if you were to ask me to draw him, I could draw him because I have the proper references. However, if I am to compare it to who I am guessing is witchy, because I'm guessing this is pitchy, it, it doesn't say who is who, though. Because it just says, for Rich Squid 1996, made with DeviantArt Miro. Also, I would like to point out, I kind of used the same program only one time, and I feel like I did a little better than this because this is just pink splotches. I at least had an idea of what I was trying to do. Oh, so that's witch. Wait, bitch is a girl? I couldn't tell! Because guess what? There's no discernible features aside from long hair. The lines are overlapping, there are a lot of blank spaces within the character. It looks like this is not even a proper person. And that's his original artwork. Here's another one I had issues with. He loved trash. With this, I'm guessing this Carol Spinney also voiced Oscar the Grouch from Sesame Street, but from the picture I looked up by... Black Rhino Ranger, which is said here to be a base. He voiced Big Bird as well. Look up here. Erase lines. This was not a base. This guy straight up stole. He took a picture from Black Rhino Ranger. Someone who doesn't have that much good art, but it works... And still looks better than the trash he's putting out. And he took that picture, erased the character, forgot to erase two little lines to show that there was something typed here. In favor of drawing whatever the fudge this is supposed to be. It looks like it's supposed to be a trash bird wearing headphones. With a random yellow ball next to him. Is that supposed to be a banana peel as a beak? I don't get it. What is this picture supposed to be? Because there's no explanation except saying that Carol Spinney had passed away and it was brought up by Sad. I don't understand. Here's another picture that makes no sense. This is supposed to be a picture of Surfetched. Emily the Surfetched. Why does the beak look like it's not even attached? I don't know what those markings under him are supposed to be. I'm guessing that's supposed to be like a belly pattern. Also, it looks like you just scribbled on a shield and the leak sword. It doesn't even look connected. It doesn't even look like they're holding it. J 
just a lot of information here that doesn't tell a lot about the character. But, again, I... The only reason I know this is Surfetched is because I can identify Pokemon since I'm a fan. Beagle looks more like it's supposed to be a mask. Let's look at his usage of bases. This was one I had a lot of gripes with because I didn't know what was going on in the picture until I read the comment section. Apparently this character is named Red Barrel and the horse is Matilda. And apparently this random floating thing is supposed to be a lasso. I'm pretty sure that's not how lassos work. There's a lot of colors going out of line. There are random drawn artifacts. There's this random yellow line. The stars are coming off of her pants. This gem doesn't look like it's supposed to be on her neck. Her lipstick literally goes over her mouth line. There are white artifact lines since this was a base. This looks like it should be hurting the horse. There's just a lot of inconsistencies with this character. Plus, uh, is this supposed to be her leg? I, I, um, I didn't notice till now. Is that supposed to be her leg? That, I'm guessing this is supposed to be where the leg actually goes. Uh, the base was by Hot Horse. Let's, uh, take a quick look at it. Uh, should be here somewhere. Um, bases, bases, bases. Looks like nothing. Looks like this person draws original artwork. Uh, yeah, there is no base. There is no base here. So, actually, the base he drew didn't even belong to this person. This person didn't draw a base. Because I'm not seeing any bases in here. Let's try tutorial in line art. Oh, here we are. There's our base. So, yeah. Okay. I lied. This was a base. And, uh... Yeah, that's supposed to be the leg. The one in the original picture looked nothing like a leg. Okay, let's head back to that picture. Nope. Yeah, this leg looks like it doesn't belong at all. There's just so much wrong with this picture that I could be griping about this all day because there's a lot of white spots he forgot to, you know, paint. Look here, I didn't even notice these until now. Okay, let's head back. Let's look for other stuff here. Floating rains. This hat doesn't even look like it's supposed to be on this character. And the necklace is just floating on the girl. Just look at all these pictures. And compare it to other artists who actually draw their pictures a lot better than he does. This character right here matches my expression. Because what even are these characters? And when you use bases, they look terrible. You post screenshots of other characters. There are things you have some uh, right in here. And when you draw on your own, they look like this. Well, at least I can tell what the Caesar character looks like. Because in the original one that I found, it doesn't even look like you made Caesar. Now, let me find a picture in his favorites that really show that other artists draw his characters better than he does himself. There was a really good one here, right here. See, this is the same character by Strike Comet, and he actually looks a lot better, and I could tell what he actually looks like. And 
these three characters here, I drew these. These two, Rona Rubble Rock and Daryl over here, belong to another artist that has also drawn Caesar before. Here he is. Izo 1 through 3. And let me just quickly find the Caesar picture he drew because that was the picture that Strike Comment linked me when I was supposed to draw him. This was what I was shown and I drew what I could from what he gave me. And this is the artist that he always links to whenever he wants me to draw his characters. This is what he wants me to draw. Not something he made, but something someone else made. Because I can tell what they drew. His are just splatters on a page that doesn't even look like they are supposed to make sense on a picture. I'm going to quickly show another picture here. Here he is being rude to another friend named Bree the Demon. All because someone's Fifi's got hurt. That hurt my feelings. Sob. Comforts. Ignore Bree the Deadbeat here. Who the heck are you calling a deadbeat? You sorry excuse for an artist. Forget this night, my friend. She's a nuisance to my plans. You're right. This Kapui and Bree ages ago, and now should you. Oh, hey, look, it looks like she also. Oh, it hit another comment by someone else. And it looks like they said, He just didn't know, and you didn't need to put salt in his wounds. And now he just hurt his feelings. Things were being nothing. The one in the side. I'm guessing he is talking about someone else. This was evidence Brianna provided herself. Strike Comment has also done a number of things to her. Look, this guy has been on DA for four years and he has no decency. Kabooey says he's seven-year-old. Yes, I know you can lie about your age, but I feel like you're like 20. Here's a conversation we had. Um, my mouth was hurting at the time when all this happened, so I was, she sent cat pictures to make me feel better, but short story, strike comment was just being a big jerk. Here is a comment, here's a status update she did on strike comment. And here, she actually brings up Rainbow Kitty as a positive because at least she puts the effort into her pictures. All he does is just draw shapes with a paintbrush tool. So, what have I learned from Strike Comment? I learned he is a guy who brings up dead drama, so, and he calls us the hypocrites or calling the kettle black when we bring it up because he was the one who brought it up first or it prompted us to talk about it. Doesn't put a lot of effort into his artwork and the only decent ones are bases that aren't even drawn that well. And he relies on other people to draw his characters so others can draw them. So, sum up, 
Strike Comet is a lazy artist who just gets his pantaloons in a knot way too easily. I don't care if you do dirty on me because of this video, just know I'm not the one who is putting in zero effort with my artwork and then asking people to take time out of their day to draw my characters so other people can do that. Anyway, see you later guys and please don't harass him. Otherwise, he's just going to be a big baby about it. Bye.